question. What happens after death? In this week's video, we'll see what the Bible has to say. And like usual, at the end, I'll point you some helpful resources. So stick around for that. Within the Christian faith, there's a significant amount of confusion regarding what happens after death. Some hold that after death, everyone sleeps until the final judgment, after which everyone will be sent to heaven or hell. Others believe that at the moment of death, people are instantly judged and sent to their eternal destinations. Still, others claim that when people die, their souls or spirits are sent to a temporary heaven or hell to await the final resurrection, the final judgment, and then the finality of their eternal destination. So, what exactly does the Bible say happens after death? First, for the believer in Jesus Christ, the Bible tells us that after death, believers' souls or spirits are taken to heaven because their sins are forgiven by having received Christ as Savior. For believers, death is to be away from the body and not home with the Lord. However, passages such as 1 Corinthians 15, 50 through 54 and 1 Thessalonians 4, 13 through 17 describe believers being resurrected and given glorified bodies. If believers go to be with Christ immediately after death, what is the purpose of this resurrection? It seems that while the soul or spirit of believers go to be with Christ immediately after death, the physical body remains in the grave sleeping. At the resurrection of the believers, the physical body is resurrected and glorified and reunited with the soul or spirit. This reunited and glorified body, soul, spirit will be the possession of the believers for eternity in the new heavens and the new earth. Second, for those who do not receive Jesus Christ as Savior, death means everlasting punishment. However, similar to the destiny of believers, unbelievers also seem to be sent immediately to a temporary holding place to await their final resurrection, judgment, and eternal destiny. Luke 16, 22 through 23 describes a rich man being tormented immediately after death. Revelation 20, verses 11 through 15 describes all the unbelieving dead being resurrected, judged at the great white throne, and then being cast into the lake of fire. Unbelievers, then, are not sent to hell, the lake of fire, immediately after death, but rather are in a temporary realm of judgment and condemnation. However, even though unbelievers are not instantly sent to the lake of fire, their immediate fate after death is not a pleasant one. The rich man cried out, I am in agony in this fire. Therefore, after death, a person resides in a temporary heaven or hell. After this temporary realm, at the final resurrection, a person's eternal destiny will not change. The precise location of that eternal destiny is what changes. Believers will ultimately be granted entrance into the new heavens and the new earth. Unbelievers will ultimately be sent to the lake of fire. These are the final eternal destinations of all people based entirely on whether or not they had trusted Jesus Christ alone for their salvation. Hungry for more? Subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Visit gotquestions.org for more great content and check out the details section below this video. There you see a book I highly recommend along with other articles that help you better understand what the Bible says about life after death. If you'd like to learn more about Bible Munch or if you're interested in bite-sized devotionals, subscribe to Bible Munch on YouTube. The link is right here. Remember, got questions? The Bible has answers and will help you find them.